Thursdays. What's up, YouTube? It's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. Welcome to Tips and Tricks Thursday, episode number 18. Today I'm going to show you how to create a headphone mix or submixes in Logic so you can send them out to uh, your drummer, your guitarist, your vocalist very easily, very quickly. Got a lot of questions on this. I'm going to show you how. First thing we got to understand is that you got to have an interface that has more than two outputs. Usually outputs one and two, left and right, is your main outputs. So if you have outputs three and four, five, six, seven, eight, you can send it to different people. So three, four could be your drummer, five, six can be your vocalist, seven, eight can be your, your, uh, your guitarist, and everyone can have a separate mix in its own. Right now, I only have a two output interface, so I can't really show you five, six, seven, eight, and three, four outputs what it's going to send it at, but I'm going to demonstrate how you can go about it and how easily it is you can do it in Logic. So let's get started. I just have to clear that out of the way so we all understand. First step we got to do, let's just say my track is only three tracks and I need to record more instruments to my track, and that's why I'm going to create a headphone mix to get it out to the floor so that people can hear what they're recording to. So all we got to do is select all our tracks by clicking one of the tracks and uh, highlighting them all. Go under my sends section and let's just send it out to bus one. And under bus one, I'm gonna hold down the option key, click on the circle right here to send it out of Unity Gain. And then there is my send right here. So I'm gonna say drummers mix. So there's the drummers mix right there. Right now it's going output to my stereo output. Again, I don't want that to be my stereo output. Again, I only have an interface that only has a stereo output. So I'm going to go ahead and let's just pretend that bus 5 is my outputs 3 and 4. So right now what Logic is doing is, is taking all these sends from my track right here, putting it into my auxiliary track and outputting it to, we're pretending, uh, outputs 3 and 4, which is my drummer's mix. And let's just say... He wants the uh, this track right here to be lowered. It's too loud in his headphones. So the way you do that is you just lower it here. And let's say the second track he wants a little bit higher. He needs to hear that more. So I'm going to bring that up. And this track he wants a little lower. And bus one is my drummer's mix. So if he needs to adjust anything, I'm going to go to my sends right here and adjust the sends there accordingly. So if he wants that lower, I'll adjust that. If he wants this track lower or higher, I'll adjust this from here. And this is your overall volume. So if he wants it overall lower and you don't have a headphone amp out there to adjust the volume, just lower it out here. So that is your main mix for your drummer's mix. So let's go ahead and create another mix for your, uh, your let's say your guitarist right now. So I'm gonna, again, I'm going to go ahead and highlight all the tracks. Go to my bus section and let's send it out to bus, let's say bus 10 is my guitarist uh, sends. I'm gonna go ahead and option click again that to bring everything up to Unity Gain. So here's my input 10. And my output is gonna be bus 11, which is, let's pretend outputs five and six. And I'm gonna go ahead and call this my, what did I say it was, a guitarist uh, mix? And then again, this is my overall level for the guitarist. If we don't have a headphone amp out there, and if he wants to adjust the volumes for each individual track, you do it here. So now remember, bus one is our drummer's mix, bus 10 is our guitarist mix, and now let's go ahead and create one for our vocals, our vocalists. So I'm gonna go ahead again, select all the tracks, go under my send sections, go to bus. Let's say bus 12 is my vocalist track. Again, hold down option, click Unity Gain, here is bus 12 right here, which is my vocalist mix. Again, this is their overall volume right here. And again, I can adjust here individual tracks if they need a higher, lower, whatever they want, we can adjust from there. And that is how you create headphone mixes in Logic if you have the right interface. So again, we pretended that bus 5 was output 3 and 4, bus 11 was output 5 and 6, and bus, ooh, I didn't change it right here. And bus, let's say bus 14, was outputs 7 and 8. So that's how you create different headphone mixes in Logic. Very easy, very simple. All you have to do is send it out from every track, create a little mix up here, and how much volume you want on each track. And then this is your main volume right here for each individual mix, if they want to higher or lower it as a whole. And 
there you go input output into out that's all it is when creating hatful mixes in logic or sending anything within logic so that's it for that sorry it was a little bit long-winded but i had to explain a couple things just so we're all clear uh yeah so that's it keep on qu asking questions i will get to all your questions i know some sometimes you feel like i'm not getting to getting to your questions but i do have a lot of questions i have to answer so this was next in the lineup so there it is that's how you do headphone sense in logic remember to rate subscribe comment and uh if you want any more uh want more videos want your answers answers your questions answered i will try my best to answer them in the near future all right guys take care keep a lookout for more videos more great stuff coming soon later guys